Hi everyone, I'm Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about how to build a studio door. Studio doors, uh, we get a lot of uh, questions about what's the correct technique and how do we uh, do it for, for the least bit of money and sometimes it's hard to fit those two things together depending on the uh, amplitude and the frequency of the issues that are involved. So what is a door? Let's think about a door. It's really isolation and barrier technology. We're trying to keep the sound that's within the room contained within the room and not leaving the room going to adjacent structures. And obviously any airborne or noise issues from outside the room, we want to keep those outside the room and not let them into our room. So we have to understand two basic concepts when it comes to barrier technology, which is all about our doors. We have to realize that it's airborne energy striking a surface and then becoming structural vibrations. So two different things going on here. That's why foam is not a barrier. We get a lot of questions. Well, can I just put some foam up and that would be a good door? No, because it's not. Foam is an airborne middle and high frequency absorption device. Doesn't have anything to do with the structural vibrational issues. So. Uh, no foam for doors. All right. What are we going to build our door with? What's the process we're going to use? We're going to sandwich a bunch of layers of material together. We're going to use a process called constrained layer mass damping. So it's a process that we have to use in order to create a barrier. So we have to choose the right density of material. We have to Make sure that that material is flexible enough, but has enough rigidity to stop the frequencies that we need. So it's a balance between density, flexibility, and rigidity. You just don't slap a bunch of materials together or glue a bunch of materials together and hope that you get a good result. This is scientific calculations based on the quantifiable levels of noise that you have to deal with. Everything is interrelated. There is no one solution that fits all problems, okay? There's no universal answers here. It's all dependent on the amplitude and the frequency of your issues that you're dealing with. Certain materials of certain densities work for certain frequencies. Barrier technologies come in two animals, one that works below 125 cycles, one that works above. Completely different approaches, completely different structures, completely different costs, completely different weights. So everything is different depending on the frequency and the strength of our issue. We're going to use a bunch of layers of material to control vibration. So we're going to change from airborne to vibrational energy and we have to use a series of layers to, to deal with that. Another way to do it is to create an airlock. We've all seen these on uh, shows like Star Trek where the outside environment is a vacuum, the inside is habitable. To get between the two environments, you go into a little airlock, close the one door for the uh, human habitat, and then open the other door to the uh, vacuum of space. So that's called an airlock. We can do the same thing in our studios. So we construct a door, we leave some space, and then we construct another door. What is the distance between those two doors? Once again, depending on the level of noise outside the doors and the level of noise inside the studio. So this space is determined by these two variables. There is no one size that fits all. So in graphic number six, we realize that airborne energy is converted to vibrational energy and we have to use different processes to deal with it. We also have to realize that good sound is a combination of doing a lot of little things correctly and in the right order. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, Send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com, and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and keep uh, updated on our new videos.